So you might be wanting to go ahead and actually share your screen from your you know, Android phone to a TV or monitor, whatever it is. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to make sure that specific TV screen or monitor that you're using does have the ability of marrying your screen from your Android to your you know, monitor wirelessly. There are wired methods. You can always get a USB-C to HDMI and then plug in that HDMI to that monitor or do USB-C to USB-C via the monitor. But keep in mind that not every single monitor has that you know, support of wireless you know, sharing. If it does, though, then go and turn your monitor or TV on. And what you're going to want to do on your Android phone, you want to make your way over into your control toggle, or your quick toggle settings. So scroll down on your quick toggles right up there, and you'll come into this panel. Now, what you're going to want to do here is you want to tap on that little pencil icon, and you want to find a little screen share toggle. So it should say like screen share or screen cast or something like that. So you can see right here, we have screencast, which is right there. So what we're going to want to do is we want to go and bring that screencast toggle up into our quick toggles right there. And when we're done, we can go and hop out of it and we'll come into this panel. Now what we're going to want to do is we want to go and find that little screencast button that we just found. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to cast the screen over to another, you know, to our basically our you know TV or monitor that we have. So go ahead and tap on screencast. And then it's going to say cast screen to device and it's going to start searching for other devices. Now on mostly every Android phone, you should have this type of capability. So now, as long as your screen is on or your TV is on or whatever it is, and it supports screencasting, well, all you're going to have to do here is tap on that screen, and that screen will then go and discover this phone. You may have to tap in a code or type in a code here and there, but after doing that, your screen will then go ahead and see exactly what your TV is seeing here, and that's pretty much it. From there, you can go ahead and tap on it again to turn it off, but that's pretty much how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.